Okay, everybody. Here's a tour of the property that we are buying, or we, we have bought and are in the midst of buying. Um, this is a 1950s brick schoolhouse. It is in very, very good, like, new condition on the exterior. The brickwork is beautiful. Take a turn here. This is the, this is the main entry. So you've got the French doors, the side lights, and uh, the roof section there is actually, uh, isn't added on, but it's a nice touch. There's the upper transoms. You come around here. This is the service. Electrical service comes in. This is the road side of the building. It's the original fire escape. I'll be taking that off. I'm going to put a patio uh, a deck up, you know, like a little walkout deck up there, I think, in the future. And then this is the driveway side. It's kind of cool, if you look up here you can see that there's some design work that was put into the brick, just gives it a little bit of flair there. And then, uh, these openings here, and again this is an add-on, somebody added this on, but got this little covered porch area here. And then back to the driveway side. And uh, that fire escape's already been removed in the past, and that this is going to be the same situation. We're going to be putting a patio in up there, a raised porch. This is the smaller of the two substructures. So this is actually uh, the tenant, which is now my tenant, um, leases this building. The garage is ours, uh, it, but he, the second floor is the tenant's building and he has the entry over here with a private entrance and a mudroom on the first floor. So that's that. I'll try to get a better angle on it here. And this is my shop building. So this is go this is going to be the wood shop. I'll take you in there uh, in just a few minutes. So just stick with the video and it's going to be a little bit lengthy, but there's actually a lot of, lot of building here to look at. So I'm not going to do any inside pictures of this one. The tenant's not home, and uh, I, I don't want to, bar, you know, I don't want to um, barge in or inconvenience him asking him to show me around with the camera. So, but uh, it's nice, well-finished building inside. And again, that is the shop building. Really beautiful. Let me zoom in here a little bit so you can... Of appreciate it's about 2800 square feet total built like a fortress so let's start in the schoolhouse now the inside of the schoolhouse is pretty ugly it is basically still a schoolhouse and then some people have done things over the years to it but I'll be taking this thing the entire thing apart so so you walk in the doors and we're still moving in moving stuff in and getting organized so there's some clutter but you have the left hand stairs that go up and Lily is standing here on the right hand stairs that go down we're going to go up first so you get to the top of the stairs and this is probably going to change so my intent is to change this landing and I'm going to have five different entries laid out here for the five units that are up here but uh, this is the left classroom it still has the original chalkboards on the walls and 14 foot ceilings which are I don't know if this camera can do it justice but Haley why don't you go stand over there by that chalkboard so Haley is about four feet tall and that should give you an idea on how tall the ceilings in here are you like the chalkboards Haley? yes yep all right so these are the windows and then 
to the off to the side here are the original um, supply closets. So this this would have been a coat closet, um, I believe, a coat closet, uh, shoe closet for the students, and then in the room to the right, um, this would have been the supply closet. So they would have had everything organized in here, and uh, and this is all dug fur. So I'm going to try to actually restore all this, take it back down to to new clean it up and uh, repurpose it into the build where I can. So so that's uh, that's classroom on the left. Another chalkboard here on the door wall. And then this is the right. So this is all coming out. It's it's really just a mirror image. I'll show you this real quick just, just so you can kind of see. So somebody had the idea of turning this into rooms and they made this hallway. It's just a really weird use of the space. So I'll be taking all of this out and uh, I'm starting off with a blank canvas. So there's that. And then this closet's already been opened up. So this is this was a, a mirror image of what I just showed you in the other room uh, with the dividing wall removed. So it's quite a quite a space here. Um, it could be a huge bathroom or something, but we'll see how that goes when I get into the design. So. Again, and th this is the entryway, which is just beautiful. I'm gonna take uh, muriatic acid, and I'm gonna take all this brick down and clean it up beautifully, and uh, and address the window trim and door trim and the old uh, plaster molds missing up there. So I'll probably recast the the uh, detailed plaster mold up there. So, all right, now to the downstairs. And again, we're kind of making our making our home down here right now, so it's going to be a mess, but we're still unpacking. This is the right bathroom. So there's kind of like uh, this this open area before the bathroom. The bathrooms are to the right, and then these are the bathrooms. You know, just real rough, real rough. But they're actually completely changing, so that doesn't bother me. I'm going to be completely altering these, and then. Uh, this is the entryway. So you come in from the stairs. This is what you see. There's a big French door here. So a lot of storage under the stairs. Then in here, this is the utility room. This is the only room I'm going to leave completely alone. So this is, uh, I'll open it up and clean it up, but I'm going to keep the on demand heaters and uh, things like that in, in here. And I'll shrink this bathroom down. But for right now, this is, this is what it is. So, two functional bathrooms, they do the job for now. And then this is the original boiler room. So, uh, that's the wood furnace. This, this Originally there was a boiler right here, a huge massive coal boiler, uh, which was then converted later on to, I think, oil, he said, and then they went to the wood. Um, so I'm not 100% certain what I'm gonna do. But then the other side of this is uh, French doors with a window and uh, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be I'm going to be converting that door into a single door with a tran with a side light and a transom and I'm going to turn this into a kitchenette like a bistro and on this side I'm going to wall this off and I'm going to have a pocket door bathroom right here and it will be attached to this room which is the this was the coal room, so there's the coal chute up there, the original coal chute. And uh, I'm going to convert this room into a bedroom, which is part of this room. So this will actually be a suite, uh, the full suite. It should be kind of nice, but I, I think it's got a wonderful feel to it with all of the original brick. And these doors are pretty cool. So these are, this is an old plank door, and because it was a boiler room, it's all wrapped in steel on the inside. So I think I'm going to try to leave that. I think it just really it's kind of cool it's cool to me I'll change the color obviously but I like it Whoa, Dad, that was so, way in my face. yep and then this is the French door so again all of this these details are changing right now we just kind of have it set up rough but down here we have 10 foot ceilings there's my beautiful wife she's not looking at the camera she refuses to look at the camera all right so right now we just kind of have the kitchen set up in here, makeshift kitchen. 
And these are the headers that are carrying. Stop. So, you can see. Very big room. This was the original gymnasium, so this is basically an open floor plan. Um, except for these massive, these are 4 inch by 18 inch tall LVLs doubled up. They, they were used to uh, straighten out the floors which had sagged a little bit over the years of the rooms over the gymnasium. So, if you could appreciate these in, in life, the, they're monstrous. It's crazy. And there's uh, another exit, and that's going to actually be the private entrance for this unit I'm going to make over here. And, uh, yeah. So that is the schoolhouse. So hold on a sec, and I will take you over to the shop building. Okay. So this is the shop building. So on the left side here, I have a... Uh, there's a sliding door, moves right to left, and over there, uh, left to right, and the center one is a traditional style garage door. Um, the door is inside, I just have to mount it, but the slab needs to be poured first, so I haven't gotten into that yet, so. This is the end of the unit, the end of the building, and uh, again, this one's not hooked up yet, so that's going to be one of the near immediate things to do. And he's got the doors are set up here for for a porch or something to be up there. So you come in. This is the mud room. So this is the mud room for the uh, apart for the apartment upstairs. And I think he intended to have it set up there as two apartments. I think I'm going to use it as one large apartment, uh, or maybe down the road convert it to two. I don't know yet. So. Um, what I'll do right now since I'm in here is I'll take you upstairs so makeshift stairs you can see so this whole building this structure is L is uh, glue lambs so incredibly robust the way this was built so he's got the TGI construction uh, I think that's one inch subfloor and uh, that runs into the massive glue lamp beam in the middle and on the edges so so these are the two doors and again like so I think some of this is some of this is weird it was like an afterthought or something so this door is over the stairwell so I'll probably yank that out and close it up at some point um, but the other end is still wide wide open but again two doors I don't know but this is this is this building you can see it's got a really uh, select grade, beautiful Douglas fir uh, finished floor throughout here, and that's that's that. So it's pretty big. This is about uh, 25 feet wide or so, and um, uh, what is this? 64 feet long, I think it was. Something like that. And then you've got these windows up here, which are cool, you know, like that. So I think uh, I'm thinking about doing some sort of loft, suspended loft here up to those windows. So there'll be like bedroom ceilings or something uh, with the windows in them. Anyway, that's this structure. Very pretty. Lots of potential here. So then we'll go down to, the, for me anyway, for the exciting part. After many years of being stuck in a very small wood shop without a proper setup, this is what I've got. So this is the shop space. Got a brand new massive panel run for any of my electric needs. And I've got the doors, as I said, I have to put a slab in. I got to clean this out and get a slab done in here. Uh, and then I got to close this back wall up. But again, these are the LVLs. So you can see, like, this is the carrying beams of this building are LV, are glue lamb, uh, glue lamb beams on the both edges and down the center with TGIs in between. So this is, this is incredibly well built, an incredibly well built structure. 
And then on this end, I have this room that's been that's been partitioned off and uh, you know framed in. And I'm probably going to open this up to this shop, but maybe not immediately. I guess I'll see how much room I need. You know, if this space in here is is good enough, maybe I'll leave this partition. This might make a really great spray booth in here. Haven't uh, haven't really figured that out just yet, but we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens down the road. But yeah, that is the shop building. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and sneak right out the barn door here. Sliding door. And the original schoolhouse slide is over there. My kids are trying to get it out of the tree. Oh, trying to get the hula hoop out of the tree. I got to cut those branches so they can use that slide. Begins kicking the ball. And there you go. That is the whole kit and caboodle. I am super excited. I can't wait to dig into this. Just uh, working on plans right now and uh, just had to get our feet under us and get some living quarters set up so that we can begin the process. And uh, if you're watching this and you're from my YouTube channel, um, there's going to be a lot of woodwork involved. So I would encourage you to share this and uh, stay subscribed and uh, watch out for the future videos because um, my intent is to really uh, I'm going to do some beautiful B&B work on the building as I renovate it um, but I, I intend to really stage those units with some some beautiful pieces of custom made furniture and woodworking um, so yeah there's going to be a lot of projects coming down the road here for this and I'm, I'm really excited to dive in so if uh, that interests you and you want to watch the process and I, I learn, I'm looking forward to maybe teaching as I, as I do this. Um, drop your questions and I'll answer them.